Hello, today I'm going to show you how can project created in project for desktop application be imported in project for the web. For, for this purpose, I create a very simple project uh, uh, in project for desktop. We have project summary task, one summary task, six, uh, five tasks, one, one summary uh, uh, milestone and the whole project milestone. I put some resources here and I marked <clears throat> task one as 100% completed. So eight hours are completed and task two as 50% completed. So actual work is eight hours. And notice that I make, make a schedule here with Finish to start relationship, start to start relationship, finish to finish relationship as well. So we have various type of dependencies. This project is saved on my desktop. So I will now close it. It should be saved. Okay. And I'm going to jump to project for the web. To import project uh, uh, for uh, in project for the web, project uh, created in desktop, you should be on the main page for Project for the Web. Click here and click on Import Project uh, from Project Desktop. So you should choose MPP file. I'm going to choose MPP file. I'm going to my desktop. I will find my project, Project for Importing. Okay, I will click on it and I will say Open. Now you will see that after a while, project will be imported. But before you can see what has been important, imported, you will see what is not important. So uh, one very important thing here is that when you have project for uh, created in project for desktop, there is no such a thing like one-to-one -one relationship uh, between project for desktop and for project for the web. So, so some things are not going to be copied from project for the desktop to project for the web. In my case, resources are not uh, uh, important, so all imported, so all resources were removed, and two links are not important. Why? Because project for the web only support for now finish to start links so any other links like start to start finish to finish are being removed okay let's go here so you can see here that i have no assignment here but let's see do we have effort here yes we have do we have effort completed yes we have so we have effort copied so you can see we have duration copied, we have effort copied, we have effort completed copied, we have completion, we do not have project summary task complete, uh, uh, copied, only the summary task. So once again, let me open the project and let me open project which was important. So this project summary task was not important. important. Uh, work. And, uh, and actual work uh, is effort and effort completed in project for the web, but resource were removed. And be aware that th this is not everything what cannot be important. If you want to see what the whole exhaustive list of what is not being important or what sh should not will not be important. When you're importing project from desktop to project for the web version, you can see it here in this page. So, which features are not important? Baselines, constraints, as late as possible, start not later than, finish not later than. So, as soon as possible and uh, start uh, and uh, start uh, as earlier as can can be imported and we will be important. And uh, that was explained in my 
other videos. Must finish on, must start on dependencies are also not important. Cross project dependencies are not important. So if you have dependencies between one or uh, two or more projects, those dependencies are, uh, dependencies are not going to be copied. Deadlines, formulas, inactive tasks, links like start to start, finish to finish, start to finish, manual tasks, null tasks, project level custom fields. So custom fields on project level, recurring tasks, resources, schedule for settings and sub projects. Those things are not going to be important. So you can ask yourself, what is the value? Well, it's up to you. If you think that a lot of things are not going to be important and that is messy for you to re-establish the project from project, uh, uh, from project from desktop project to project for the web, you can start typing your project from the scratch. But if you uh, find out that there's a lot of things that can be copied and there are not a lot of things that you should be then edited, like, for example, assigned to or uh, relationships, then I suggest that you copy project from uh, a project for desktop to project for the web. It's up to you. So to conclude, you can copy project created in desktop version to project for the web, but with some or let's say a lot of limitations. Should you or will you copy? Will you use this uh, possibility? Is completely up to you. Hope this helps. Have, have a nice day and thank you very much for watching my video.